Hallelujah and blessings in Jesus, friends. Welcome back to Haya Kadosh Ministries, where holiness is a way of life. Jesus is truly King of Kings and Lord of Lords, and the Holy Bible is our only standard and authority for truth. Well, I trust that you are feeling blessed in your spirit this morning, that you have spent time with the Lord, meditating, pondering, and focusing upon the things of God, setting your mind right, and preparing your heart for his word. Now we are continuing our look in the life of Job through the book of Job, and today we are in chapter 22, where Eliphaz is going to respond to Job again. Now we are nearing the end of the book. Job is going to go into a long litany of truths and parables, and then we are going to hear from a young man for several chapters by the name of Elihu. And once he finished speaking, God is going to meet the desires of Job's heart. He's going to give him the counsel that he's thought, and it's not what Job is expecting. But for today, let's look at what Eliphaz has to say. The first thing he says in verse 2, he says, Can a man be profitable unto God, as he that is wise may be profitable unto himself? Now, of course, the answer to this would be no, because what Eliphaz is asking is, Does man have anything to offer to God that God doesn't know? Can he impart to God any wisdom? But then in verse 3, he says, is it any pleasure to the Almighty that you are righteous? And he's asking this of Job specifically, but we can apply this to ourselves. Does the Almighty take pleasure in our right living, in our pursuing holiness? Is it any gain to him that we seek to make our ways perfect? that we live disciplined lives, that we take our flesh under control, we beat it into submission, that we take every thought into captivity. Does the Almighty have pleasure in this? And he asked this in a way of Job that he would think the answer would be no. But friends, the answer is yes. The Almighty is glorified in us when we pursue holiness. Think of it like this. If you come across a well-mannered child, a well-behaved child, a child who knows his place and is seeking to bring pleasure to his parents, although the child may receive praise for his obedience, the true honor and praise is bestowed upon the parent because the child had to learn these from someone. And of course, we give recognition to the parent in training the child in the right ways and teaching the child what it means to be submissive and obedient. And so too we, friends, when we pursue holiness, when we desire to live righteously, the Almighty is glorified because we can't take credit for these things for ourselves. Someone had to teach us. And we know through the Bible that the Holy Spirit is our teacher the one who lives and dwells within us and inclines us to righteous living. And so again, we see through the statements of Eliphaz and his other two friends, Bildad and Zophar, what they say on the surface may appear to be right, but when we dissect what it is they're saying, we see error in their teaching. And although he is in error in this question, he finishes his statement with truth for all men, for all time. And so let's take a closer look at what he says and how we can apply this to our lives. You see, if every one of us were to take a moment, still ourselves, examine our hearts, we know that there are things that we can do better. It may be a stronger commitment unto our Lord through prayer and fellowship, through telling others of his love and grace, through Bible study and Bible reading. It may be habits that we have we know that do not honor him. It may be things that we do that he doesn't approve of. And in the very moment of that reminder to us through his spirit, by his spirit, we come to a crossroads where we must make a decision. Continue to do the things we want to do, the way we want to do them, or do we surrender and begin to live our lives according to his wishes and his will? And this is the moment that Eliphaz brings us to when he says in verse 21, Acquaint now thyself with him, with the Almighty, 
and be at peace. Thereby, good shall come unto thee. It's like we spoke about yesterday. You reap what you sow. If you turn your heart toward God, you will be blessed for doing so. If you continue to reject his truth and live in disobedience, then of course you will not be blessed. He says in verse 22, receive, I pray thee, the law from his mouth. Lay up his words in your heart. If you return to the Almighty, that word return there is very interesting. If you return to the Almighty, then you shall be built up. Then you will put iniquity far from your tabernacles. In verse 26, he says, Then you will have delight in the Almighty, and you will lift up your face unto God. You will make your prayer unto him, and he will hear you. The Message Bible says it like this, Give in to God, come to terms with him, and everything will turn out just fine. Let him tell you what to do. Take his words to heart. Come back to God Almighty, and he will rebuild your life. Clean house of everything evil. Relax your grip on your money. Abandon your gold-plated luxury. God Almighty will be your treasure, more wealth than you can imagine. What hope we find in that promise, friends. If we will return to the Almighty, blessing will continue to flow. And so if you're not happy with your walk with the Lord this morning, friend, you're the only one that can change it. All the truth in the world does you no good unless you become obedient to that truth. So follow the quiet whisper in your heart. Heed yourself unto it and do what he is asking. And then you will know the joy and the peace of the Lord that is only bestowed upon those who are his obedient children. There's favor in obedience, friends. There's blessing in living a disciplined life. But you must be the one that chooses to do so. Well, I have prayed for you this morning, friends, and I pray that you will be obedient to this truth. I pray that if there's anything in your heart that you know does not bring honor unto the Lord, you will take it before him and rid yourself of it. Now, may the Lord Jesus bless your journey today. And as he wills, and until next time, friends, I love you, and I'll see you on the next video.